In this video, we concentrate on variables. What are variables? Variables are used to store information. Just think of variables as containers that hold information. Their sole purpose is to label and store data in memory. This data can be used throughout your program. For example, a variable could store a score in your game or also a time. With the help of variables, we will now incorporate a score in our program. We have an object and every time you tap on the object, the score should increase. At the start of the program, the score should be zero. For the first step, let's go to the category data. Here we find the brick set variable. Before we can start working with variables, we have to define them. This is what the brick set variable does. We tap on new to give our variable an appropriate name. This variable should store the score, that's why I'm naming it score. Additionally, every object should be able to use this variable. That's why I'm selecting for all objects. Now we change the start value of our score variable from 1 to 0. Every time we tap on the object, the score should increase 1. For this, we place the brick change variable underneath the when tapped brick. We select the score variable and as a value we insert 1. Finally, we must show the value of this variable somewhere on the screen. For this, we need the show variable brick, which we place underneath the when program starts brick. We select the score variable again and define its position on the screen. Let's test the program. It works! We tap on the object and the score increases. To let others understand what this value means, it would be nice to have a label before this value. For this, we create a new variable with the name label. As a value, we insert the string score. As you can see, variables can also store words and letters. As a last step, we need to show this variable besides our score. That's why you have to define a position. As you can see, variables can be very helpful.